What's up, Kaito-san? Something wrong? Call me crazy. But doesn't the city seem noisier to you? The hell? Kaito senses tingling or something? Hmm, maybe they are. Well, no point trying to explain shit that doesn't make sense. Anyway, I need to go talk to Sari-san before the interview. Let's roll, Tom. Hold on a minute, Todd. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh. Maybe so. Hey, don't I know you two? you detectives around here, ain't you? Yeah, so what? You ever seen this guy before? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girls' bar nearby. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. Damn right he is. Now do you know him or not? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity, what's a guy doing running a girls' bar? I don't think he actually ran the floor or anything. All I care about is him up and vanishing out of nowhere. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamurocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? You trying to be cute? We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us! Who's fucking with who, asshole? You want to ask questions, you're gonna have to ask nice. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. Ah, fuck off! Hey, what's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> Gaito san. Huh? It's Akatsu. First name Daimu. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Yakuza? Well, if you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you?
Miss Guy you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? Nah. Zoma's taking point on this one. Came from one of his connections. There's gonna be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamuro chosen on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on them. I would walk right up and... Stick him in the gut. <laughs> you wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. There won't be a warning next time. Okay. Akatsu, you said? Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? Nah. He may have had the potential. But he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. So, now they're ex-Yakuza in the wind, and along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with R.K., a network of thugs. R.K.? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. R.K.'s happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Nah, Higashi. I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. いらっしゃいませ What a waste.
Really, guys? Oh, sorry, son. Yagami-san made it. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara's waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If he won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami-san. Ehara won't know what hit him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Are we leaving? I thought you'd lost already. So, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi is my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saori-san. But today, I'm at Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosake-sensei called, so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Ha <laughs> You might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba. You blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ehara-san! Just a second! <laughs> Why would I give you that? Yagami-san! Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great?
Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. <laughs> Looks like he's seen better days. Where'd you get the photo? From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is the interesting part. A strange woman gave it to her, said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. <sighs> you remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. I felt like choking the life right out of them. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. It's nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flawed and broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. The way that interview went? Nahara is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah. Kept that secret on lockdown no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ahara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Mikoshiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. You gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know you'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. <laughs> What the hell? Stop it, stop it, for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, 
What the hell is this? One way or another, either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with O'Hara. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. A train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously. Yagami relentlessly pursues these cases, attempting to poke holes in each. After confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker, bound by vengeance, snuffs it out. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's shown up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the US president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, Every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirasaki. Yeah, that was my thought too. <laughs> 